Be careful of emotional vampires and take care. The point is just because you told me to stop talking to a child I wanted to help in an abusive situation doesn't mean I'm going to because you're not my fucking parent. If I was your parent, Buttons, I would have done a better job raising <laughs> you. <laughs> This is too good. But you forgot something. Hello, 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 everyone. I hope you're feeling hungry because I sure am. Hungry for some goddamned vindication. And we're having a fucking buffet today. You see, my dear friend Leo Convoy, the man, the myth, the legend, released a 25-minute video going over all of the horrifying, deplorable shit Buttons has done. From theft, to endangerment of a child, to falsely accusing our mutual friend Anthony of sexual assault twice, to selling another person's nudes. And yes, all of these allegations were proven with screenshots and testimony. In fact, the stream where I made the piss gremlin cry for lying to me and abusing Mintheart has a starring role. Always nice to be included, Leo old buddy. But unfortunately, our beloved paladin of Lady Justice seems to have forgotten something. But no worries. I have you covered. You see? Buttons, also known as Eden Lee Boone, and their friend Jazz, also known as Cyber After, teamed up with a few of my detractors to falsely accuse me of zoophilia and child abuse. The zoophilia accusations are what we will be focusing on, as the child abuse allegations were covered in Leo Convoy's video on the zoophile police drama, and were handled rather effectively, in my opinion. I went into detail in this article as to everything that happened because of that, but I'll give all of you a quick summary. Buttons and Jazz reached out to a former Zoophile police staffer and accused me of being a Zoophile using drawings that were leaked to Kiwi Farms last year by Beryl. Beryl is a small brony group chat that I used to be a member of. Those drawings were addressed by me several times last year and this year, publicly both on Twitter and in multiple live streams on YouTube. But I'll address them again here for all of your convenience. Yes, I drew pictures of a certain woman's OC having intercourse with a sentient magical wolf. I drew them under psychological duress, and they were commissioned by a former friend with whom I had a toxic, unhealthy long-term relationship. I have been very open about my regret and disgust at these commissions. They are my greatest shame, and I have publicly apologized for drawing them multiple times. I was eventually able to confront Buttons on their lies and their fault in the Zoophile Police situation. After I told them about the toxicity and trauma caused by their shitty choices, we entered a brief ceasefire. I deleted a portion of my tweets in exchange for a partial retraction from Buttons, and things remained quiet for a brief time. Buttons has a pattern of orchestrating abuse and traumatic events, and this is evidence of that. I'll be putting a list of links in the description for you to examine for yourself. Eden, if you're watching this, you have nowhere left to run. Everyone knows what you are. Coyote, Leo, Anthony, Rouge, and I have all worked very, very hard to make sure everyone knows what a monster you are. You might not be a groomer yourself. You may have never RP'd with underage kids or sent nudes to minors, but you are barely above a predator. I do not and will not ever forgive you for what you have done. Not just to me, but to the people I love. We're done playing your games. Your slap suits and narcissistic abuse will not silence us any longer. 
And you may say that we are trying to bully you into killing yourself, as you always do whenever you're criticized. But I don't want you to die. I want you to live knowing there is no way on this earth for you to amend for what you have done. Live, you miserable bitch.